Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. Um, as you can see, nothing has been done since the end of the last episode. Uh, there's a good reason for that. I did actually transform this whole section here. I moved all of this basically over into there and had some other stuff set up over here. Um, ready to show you guys and to get ready to do the viewer um, suggestions. Unfortunately, something happened with the Agrarian Skies overnight. I don't know whether it was on my side or their side, but when I came on, it would not remove me out of cheat mode. Um, it logged me in in cheat mode, um, so I did uh, the whole slash game mode and changed it, but then it brought me up to... So at the moment, we have... This was the screen it kept logging me in at. So I went to game mode zero um, and it would bring me to this this screen but it would have all the other I don't know if you guys can see my mouse or not but it, where this little guy's looking all the saves here and the different things so I went into options and you get inventory um, and see how this is stuck in recipe mode now um, that would be constantly stuck in cheat mode um, so I had to actually go through the config and change it back there's um, a config file for the NEI, you can change the lockdown to 1 and you can change, uh, have I got any food on me? No I don't. Um, you can also change um, another setting in there for the creative mode side of things so that you can't, it won't log you in in it and you won't be able to, to grab the cheat mode. Um, so unfortunately I will not have an episode up tonight, I, I literally, it took me quite a while because I had it all set up, I was flying underneath, I ran all the piping underneath here, um, how much have I got, 82%, we should be right, um, so I had all this done under here, um, I had it set up so that it was auto feeding, um, I had three stacks, of I made some more pulverizers, um, I had some new more chests made up, I made, um, you know, like this stuff was all moved, um, I made some resonant servos for some other things, um, and it was a schmick little setup that it was just set and forget. Like we we could literally set it, forget it. It was feeding the um, Eulorium back over to here and self feeding into here. Um, it was a. <laughs> it took me a little while to get it set up. Um, unfortunately, now I'm going to have to redo it again. Um, so I just want you guys to know that's the reason why there's none. There will be no episode out tonight. I have posted up the first episode of Jam Packed a day early for you guys because of this. Um, so tomorrow we will be having the uh, the, the viewers suggestion uh, we are going to have a look at all the tools and all that sort of deal, the culinary uh, generators and a few other things um, but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything tonight um, it's just it's, it's very late by the time I got this all fixed um, and being that it was Mother's Day today, it's been a he bit of a hectic day so I've got a late start um, so I'm so sorry guys uh, but there will be one up tomorrow, I promise. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry guys. But check out tomorrow's. Uh, it'll be a huge episode. I'll make it a little bit longer uh, just to make up for today's one. Um, but yeah, so leave you, leave the, your uh, any suggestions you want me to look at in the next episode that you think would help improve anything around here. Uh, we've got suggestions for the tools. Uh, we've got a culinary power suggestion uh, involving some MFR stuff that we're going to be doing. Um, and yeah, just let me know a few things. Is this the hole that everyone's talking about too? Because there's a ladder that leads down. I can't fall into the void here, um, if that's what you guys are talking about. Um, I couldn't find another hole anywhere that I could see. But um, okay, let me know where that hole is, um, and I will definitely fill it in. And once again, I'm so sorry, guys. I will definitely have a great episode for you guys tomorrow. Bye now. Hey guys, just a quick update, it's pretty late, um, but I've moved just about everything from over to here, I thought I'd just give you guys a bit of a quick look, um, just to see how everything's going, um, so why are you not, oh, see I'm still dealing with a couple of issues to be honest, um, where's my pick, I put it back over here, it's been a long, long night. Um, 
why are you not working? Uh. Oh, we need a whitelist you. Okay, and I disabled that. Cool. There we go. Be free and flow. Yay. Uh, we need to... More options, this bugger. Chest button's on. Done, done. So we can sort. Perfect. I'll give you guys a bit of a run. Um, these two are just pumping into... Let's eat. Uh, just pumping into these two chests, uh, these two barrels, they're filling up at a reasonable pace, um, which is cool. Um, we'll be quick with the jetpack because this was the hardest part. Um, so if we go under here, I just have them running down and then up into the pulverizers. This cable underneath here is running up to the Java barrels, um, and then it has the Eulorium running over to, oh no, ah, don't press anything, <laughs> um, Eulorium runs into here and then it runs up the top, um, so that's been running for a little bit now, let's have a look see over here, um, I have this guy's just running the two pulverizers and the redstone furnaces are still not working, Oh, that's an issue. They were working and now they're not. That's okay. But they they will work once I log out and log back in. Um, in here, I have the... Everything goes from here through the packer into here. Um, I've whitelisted this stuff to come into this one because that's the stuff that can't go through the pulverizer. And then I've blacklisted... Oh, get out of there. I've blacklisted the same stuff on this side so it won't pull through here. Um... I put some speed upgrades into these guys, some fortune upgrades. Uh, since sand gives us Eulorium, I made a massive stack of these and just the fortune. Um, and I the two that fortunes that were meant to be in here, I chucked into this bad boy. So as you can see, we've got the three set up, the two set up, the one set up. So that's gravel, sand, and dust. And I just have the sand filtering out of these bad boys into here as well. Um, they're all filling up now, nice. Um, I have the induction smelter. Glacial Precipitator, uh, the Energy Confuser, and the Crucible and the Transposer. We've got a Aqueous Accumulator out here to suck in water into the Precipitator. Um, I haven't moved all this stuff over yet. I've moved this stuff over. Uh, did I finish moving this stuff over? Still a few things there to move over. A um, couple of things in here to move over. But it's late. Um, I've left all this stuff here. So I'm going to move all of that. And I'll move all of this. And I'll tidy all of this up. I know there's a couple of holes here, like there, um, that I've been going around trying to fill. Um, but yeah, so this is the episode for today. Um, tomorrow is going to be the subscriber suggestion special. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, it took me quite a while to rebuild all the pulverizers, the automatic sieves. Um, I made some more of the, I made bigger chests, because those chests are still over there. Um, and then flying around underneath this jetpack doesn't last very long. So as soon as it got close to 20%, I was flying back up and charging it. Um, but we have squid, and I turn this bad boy off just to conserve um, fuel. Um, so we still got, let's get rid of that. Yeah, 800 odd thousand of the 10 million we can have. So it's not a big deal. Um, and yeah, we have squid swimming around in there. So that's cool. <laughs> Alright guys, um, thanks for watching this episode, I know it was a bit of a drag, but thank you very much, I very much appreciate it, and I hope that I can make it up to you guys.